what's going on everyone we see right here dragon's dogma 2 yeah that's right 89 meta man capcom is just it's like god tier staying on fire them and nintendo i swear when it, nintendo's you know the pioneers the masters because they have their consoles and they're just god tier leading the entire industry first party and over in the third party you got capcom at the top just dominating in japan and they're just carrying hard this is non-stop epicness for coming out of japan i mean they, they're just they're too good um but looking at this we see 89 open critic we're gonna do metacritic too uh, open critic just combines all of them into one where metacritic separates different branches um so you want to look at both and that's why i'm showing this to you guys but you see there's 60 reviews here to see that um, and I'm going to cover frames per second, all of that. Guys, I started this channel about five uh, weeks ago. I appreciate this help. This helps. Uh, getting back to the epicness. Huge day today, right? I mean, that Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkachi uh, 4 or Sparking Zero uh, reveal was amazing. If you guys see that, check that out. Uh, but Hero Gamer gave it a 5 out of 5. Okay, they don't give too many perfect scores, guys. So this is saying a lot. They rate pretty intense. GameSpot, 9 out of 10. We see that. 6 axis, 10 out of 10. Uh, and 95% of critics recommend Dragon's Dogma. That's like, you know, yeah, we really want you to get that. Um, so let's take a look at uh, Metacritic real quick. PC version is at a 90. Um, and it has 30 reviews. That would make sense. Let's take a look at some of this. Dragon's Dogma 2 boldly stands as a giant of the open world genre that dares to defy existing conventions and expectations. It's courageous effort that is rewarding as it is deep. 80 hours in, I still feel as though I have barely scratched the surface of what's to offer. Its abrasive player experience demands you abide. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I still feel as though I've barely scratched the surface of what's an offer. Its abrasive player experience demands that you abide by its rules of engagement. Comply and you will be rewarded with one of the most engaging fantasy RPGs ever created. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a masterpiece. It is an unmissable title that not only asks for your respect but demands it. So let me tell you what he means by that. Like you can't just fast travel anywhere you want in that game. You know what I mean? They want you to be kind of immersed in it. But it's kind of designed around it because certain side quests, you can't do them all in one go if you like choose to the story like some of them will disappear and you will just not get that opportunity and then there's like things that randomly pop up in the game so you're just fast traveling all around like a package you know what i mean you're not really exploring and adventuring into the game the game is des designed differently but when you do that you have to make sure you do it right and these guys did it right the director suno i mean you know he's legendary he's proven his point here because there's a big jump from dragon's dogma one all the way to this one and just in general, Capcom is doing well on every franchise recently. They're just knocking it out the park. So, yeah, there's some things. Like, you can't just do whatever quest you want at any time. You can't just fast travel, you know, anywhere in this game. There's some things that are different. So, that's what he means by that. But they did it. You know what I mean? You're not going to just do that and not know what you're doing. RPG Side Dragon's Dogma 2 is an absolute triumph in nearly every sense of the word. Could say bold and brave leap forward for RPGs, invite you to come along for an unforgettable journey that will be uniquely yours. I can definitely say that that's definitely going to happen. Just going down here, we see, you know, it has, there's another Euro Gamer score. It's the rare case of a game that gets better and better the deeper you get into it, not only because there are new things to see and do, and the arrow becomes more and more powerful, but also because you grow as a player. So, I'm a more RPG. They spent over 90 hours in the world, finding it to be a masterful example of how exploration and adventure should feel. Yeah, like, you know, real adventure. If you're just traveling all around the place and going to markets, it's not really adventure. Adventure should have a sense of danger and an unknown aspect to it. Because you're adventuring. You don't know where you're going, you know, necessarily. And you're going to be exploring some things, you know. That's what adventure is. People have to understand that, you know, it means a sense of unknown and a sense of danger. A sense of all sorts of things where you just you don't know what's going to happen but it's going to be worth it <clears throat> offering advanced and immersive world to explore and conquer rich lore engaging gameplay and expansive world the sequel has captivated and immersed me in a world of fantasy <clears throat> 
an intrigue that only a few cult fans experienced in its predecessors. Whether ba battling fearsome monsters or unraveling the mysteries of Grancis, I found myself drawn to a journey of epic proportions. One that I expect will leave a lasting impression long after the final credits roll. So gather your party, sharpen your blades, and prepare to embark on an adventure of a lifetime in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. But just going down, we we you know we see that uh, people are saying positive things. And if you guys want to look at another uh, console, the PlayStation version has an 87. I would expect the PC version to be slightly higher too. Uh, you can play at 60 it's the same experience though you know it's not like the development is any different the only difference is that you could play at a higher experience so 60 frames per second or being able to even go higher than that at native 4k with other enhancement on will probably make people feel like they're playing a you know a 90 experience but at the end of the day we know you know that this is epic if this is a 90 plus game you know going down here euro gamer a huge improvement over the original and a captivating journey from beginning to end you'd want to read more on their review to kind of see that and if you guys are curious about fps if you have an xbox and a playstation you don't have a pc well i got this for you uh covered right over here cote eastwood said dragon's dogma 2 on a series x runs at an average six frames higher than playstation 5 staying closer to 40 frames per second in combat on the series x while playstation 5 sits closer to 30 sometimes under so the six frames just like you know nothing's not going on and you know it's fine but when stuff hits the fans series x has a 10 frames per second advantage and it never dips under 30 you don't even do that it stays up to fps the math the math difference between the two should show this i've told people before and this is not an argument guys we're not arguing about math here mathematically the series x is is more powerful has uh, better ram better cpu and better gpu if the difference is not shown this is not a math issue this is a development issue of people just trying to bulldoze playstation settings onto the series x you know, uh, and a lot of people just didn't understand that. They're sitting here saying it's running better on PlayStation 5. I said, like, yeah, because it's a, the developers are doing that. They probably don't want to, uh, you know, spend extra money if Microsoft's not paying them to do that. But if you think the PlayStation 5 is a better console than Series X, then you just don't understand how math works. This is not about it selling more or anything. We're just talking math here and the math difference. If I had a PC that was 20%... Uh, more powerful than the other one and it's running less than the one that's not 20 percent more powerful then there's some issue going on with some coding or something you know uh in the development because the math is just telling you that it's more powerful so we're not arguing about math here what we're going to look at is development and that's the end of that discussion there's nothing else to talk about there uh but yeah if you're wondering which version to get and you don't care about you know being stuck on one you know brand and you just want to play a better version than from what it seems right here, and since it's done right. Not saying that Capcom can't tone the settings to make it run better. I wish there would have been a performance mode. That would have been nice, but there isn't. Then a Series X version is is going to uh, run better. Certain people wanted a capped so that everything's running at that, uh, but they didn't do that for some reason. Uh, but at least you know with the Series X, you're going to at least be staying over 40 FPS um so that's nice the s we're not going to even talk about because that's a way lower uh resolution and both the series x and the playstation 5 are doing uh dynamic 2160p depending on the situation but that should answer you guys question on that you know All right. but you know that's kind of what i wanted to cover you know you guys can read more of this if you want but we see that it hit what it needed to hit and if we go back to just just to do you guys a quick favor watch this real quick if we go to dragon's dogma one and i will pull this up for you guys this is a huge jump guys dragon's dogma dark origin had 81 meta and the original was at 75. it still was a fantastic game you know and that was just back then the improved version got better because you could play it on the next gen consoles from the 360 days but, you know, going to this one, I mean, we're in the 89, 90 range. So, but this is a god tier Capcom I'm talking about compared to those times. But, uh, yeah, like and subscribe, guys, if this helps you out. Uh, and enjoy the game, guys. The uh, preload should be going live soon. So, get those pre-orders in and, you know, good luck out there, guys. And if you didn't download the character creation demo, you can do that right now and get that out the way. And then create your character in your pond and you can delete it. It'll still carry over. 
And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully all this helps. Um, and peace out. Have a good day.